Okay, so welcome to the first session no? on our um, April 2023 Registered Master Electrician Board Examination Online Refresher. So this uh, session no? and all the other sessions that will be uh, that will be uh, on continuation with this are all free no? via YouTube. So ito ay libre po na atit pong gagawin through my YouTube channel para po matulungan kayo sa inyong preparation at para po kayo ay mag-guide no? para kayo ay pumasa sa darating na RME board exam. So the first part of this uh, session is all about the introduction. No? So yung introduction tungkol sa RME, ano yung RME, the requirements for RME examination at yung ano yung magiging flow ng ating discussion kung ano-ano yung mga topic na ating i-discuss. No? Okay? So first is the requirements no, to take the exam. So what are the requirements? No? So the requirements are the following. No? First, you must be a Filipino citizen. So this is RA, according to RA 7920, that is the New Electrical Engineering Law, Section 18. So kailangan, you must be a Filipino citizen, at least 18 years of age, has a good uh, moral values, no? Meron high moral values, at has not been finally convicted by court of an offense involving moral torpitude. Kaya, hindi kayo pwede na na-convict na, no? Nang kahit anong mang kaso. Especially involving moral torpitude. Okay. Aside from those four requirements, kailangan din natin yung technical background. So, yung technical background will include your experience at yung natapos niyo na educational uh, schooling or yung educational attainment. First is you need to have at, at least three years of BSEE or Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. So, makakompleto kayo ng three years. Tapos, or, pala, or, so, kung hindi three year na BSEE, pwede rin three year course in Electrical Engineering Technology from an engineering school recognized by the government and in addition has subsequent uh, have sub have subsequent specific record of one year practice so dapat meron kayong one year practice in electrical wiring and installation operation and maintenance of utilization equipment devices no if hindi naman 3 years so at least 2 years electrician course of instruction from a vocational school or trade school recognized by the Philippine government Tapos two years apprenticeship after completion of the course of instruction. No? So two years na experience or apprenticeship. Or pwede rin three years of apprenticeship no? kapag ang natapos nyo lang is one year na electrician's course from vocational or trade school na recognized by the Philippine government. Kapag high school lang naman na natapos nyo four-year high school education or its equivalent, no? sama yung ALS, no? In addition, so you, you will have five years of apprenticeship in electrical wiring, installation, operation, maintenance of electrical equipment and devices. So yun po. So three years, one year apprenticeship, two years of vocational school, two years apprenticeship, one year of electrician course, three years. Kapag high school graduate naman, five years. So, so yung sa mga course, so dapat related sa electrical na mga course. No? Especially the electrician the vocational course so dapat electrician course ang nakalagay o yung course niyo is electrician talaga if that is electronic technician or rock technician she will fall on a four year high school no four year high school yung gagamitin niyo so if you're in high school you will have five years dapat five years tapos yung mga experiences niyo naman dapat electrical works no electrical works ang nakalagay or as an electrician or as, uh, or as an electrical maintenance, no? Ganon. Hindi yung, um, tawag din, uh, yung rock maintenance, rock technician, uh, sales, uh, sales, uh, sales agent, hindi. Dapat nakalagay is electrical talaga, electrical works. Okay. So, yan yung mga qualification at yung mga requirements para makapag-take. Ngayon naman, ano-ano yung mga documents, No? na kinakailangan para makapag-apply kayo for the examination on RMA exam, no? Okay?
Okay, so as of this year, no, ngayong 2023, so pinafollow na ngayon yung bagong documentary requirements when it comes to applying for examination for RME, no? So that is according to the 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 P the uh, PRBEE or the Professional Regulatory Board of Electrical Engineering Resolution Number 09 Series of 2022. Na yung resolution na yun nagaling sa Board of Electrical Engineering stating prescribing new documentary requirement for the re for the registered master electrician's licensure examination. So bago na yung requirements, yung mga narinig nyo na dati na ganito yung requirements, hindi na yun, so preceded na yun that will be invali invalidated. Ang bago ay ito na yung sinusunod. Galing sa resolution number 09. Okay. So, ito yung nakalagay. For first timer, no? So, yung degree at course, so you must refer to section 18 of RIC 2020, yung diniscuss natin kanina. For the documentary requirements, ito na yung lahat. Una, dapat PSA birth certificate. No? PSA or NSO birth certificate. If you are female, so dapat meron kayong PSA na marriage contract certificate. No? Marriage certificate or marriage contract. This is for applic female applicants na married na. Then TOR, no? with the name of the course, date of graduation, and the SO number. No? If a school is a government school na exempted sila sa pagbibigay ng SO kasi they are accre accredited by CHEDTIS da or DEX or being a state college, no? So, dapat nakalagay doon sa TOR na uh, di, uh, nakalagay yun sa TOR nyo na ang school nyo is a government school at yung SO at exempted kayo sa pag issue ng SO number. No? So, dapat nakalagay doon. Tapos, sa baba din yung TOR, dapat nakalagay din yung for board exam purposes only. So, dapat talaga nakalagay doon. No? Kapag wala, magiging invalid yung TOR nyo. In case that you are not a college graduate or a college level, so dapat diploma, high school diploma. So sa high school diploma, kahit hindi na nakalagay yung uh, for board exam purposes, no? kahit hindi na yun nakalagay, basta high school diploma. So ang dalhin nyo is yung photocopy ng inyong, ng inyong TOR or high school diploma, tapos dalhin nyo din yung original. No? Katulad din yan sa PSA birth certificate at sa marriage certificate or marriage contract. Next is the NBI clearance na dapat valid siya, no? Valid. Tapos 6 months, no? Yung 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 NBI clearance is at least 6 months. So kung yari uh, ngayon kayo mag apply so dapat nung noong um, October nyo kinuha yung NBI clearance nyo. So that is at least 6 months on the day of filing of the application. So ito Ibigay nyo rin yung photocopy Pero dahil nyo pa rin yung original Then certificate of employment or, on, or any equivalent document To prove the required years of apprenticeship no? So una, dapat 3 years of BSEE or Engineering Technology course So ito na yung nakalagay sa RSV920 no? So dapat nakalagay yung dito Ano yung nakalagay sa mismo certificate of employment? Kung pwede, sabihin nyo sa mga Ano nyo, sa mga boss nyo or sa HR nyo na ilagay kung ano yung specific work nyo. Hindi lang basta nakalagay electrician. Dapat nakalagay din installation of uh, lighting equipment, um, um, lighting equipment, auxiliary equipment, auxiliary system. Dapat nakalagay din para klaro. No? Tapos nakalagay din kung kailan nagsimula kayo sa company at kung kailan kayo, uh, kung sa kung 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 kailan yung kinuha yung certification yung certificate of employment na yun para ma, para ma, ma compute no ng ng PRC kung pasok ba kayo dito sa requirement na number of years so ito ang ibibigay dito is original no then ito na yung medyo ngayon naging controversial sa mga FB accounts sa mga group no FB group is the certificate or affidavit on specific record of practice to include but not limited to the following. So, ating tandaan is my OR. So, kapag ang binigay nyo certificate, so, yun yung NC. No? NC2 certificate. So, yung NC yung kailangan is dapat related din sa electrical. No? So, una is NC2 sa electrical installation and maintenance. OR, so OR ha? So, NC2 sa electrical power distribution line construction. 
or NC3 sa electrical installation and maintenance or NC3 sa electrical power distribution operation and maintenance. So kahit alin dito. If we are going also to uh, to consider or din dito, kapag wala kayo nito, pwede yun ipasa yung apprenticeship affidavit issued by instructors, trainers, supervisors who are registered electrical practitioners themselves as validated and concurred by the accredited integrated professional organization. So, pwede rin bigay yung apprenticeship affidavit. No? Pwede nyo yung ibigay. So, if if Okay, wala kayang NC, so pwede itong letter B ang ibigay nyo. Kasi ang nakalagay sa requirements is or, hindi an. So, ibig sabihin is al kahit alin dito sa dalawa. Kasi or ang nakalagay. Eh. Kapag an, pwede, ito, ito yung hihingi. So, if ever you have questions or doubts, no? kunyari, kunyari ang, ang dinala nyo lang is yung NC to, tapos hingan kayo, you could, uh, you could ask the the PRC officer na sabihin na, ma'am or sir, ang nakalagay kasi doon sa requirements is or. Hindi kasi an. So, ka, ang, ang ibig sabihin doon kasi siguro naman is kahit, kahit alin dito dalawa. No? So, as, as of now kasi may, may mga comments sa chat, sa, sa FB group na dalawa lang yung hinihingi. Dalawa, itong dalawa. But if you are going to follow what is already on the, on the resolution, so, or ang nakalagay, certificate or affidavit of any of these two. No? Meron din iba na hinahanapan ng NC2 at NC3. No, itong, itong apat. So if if you are going to consider this one, so magiging mas uh, mas mahal pa yung uh, pag pag pagtitik ng RME ngayon aside from the fee of uh, 600. Ito kasi kapag nag-assist ka dito, itong in situ that is 1849. Habang ito namang in C3 ng EIM is 2100, no? So magiging mas mahal na tuloy, no? Ang, ang hinihintay natin is the, the true clarification of the board but if you are going to interpret kung ano yung nasa resolution so or so kahit alin dito okay so meron din kasing iba na hindi nasa hinanapan so good if hindi if hindi kayo hinanapan itong bagong requirements pero, pero sa mga bago na sa mga ibang offices no, nakadepende kasi yan minsan sa offices if hinanapan kayo nito so ito yung mga bago na requirements so, kasama pa rin sa Certificate of Employment will accompany the Certificate of Experience signed by an REE, RME, or a PEE and also naka-notarize. So, kasama pa rin yun dito. Okay? So, what is the scope of the examination? No? So, the applicant shall pass a written examination. So, naka-written tayo. No? So, hindi po siya naka na actual, no? written lang, multiple choice on different subjects or group of subjects as follows. So, technical subjects, that will be the first part of the exam. 50 items po to, multiple choice questions. No? Okay. So, ang nakapaloob dyan is Ohm's Law, Electrical Machines, Control Equipment, Electrical Component, Maintenance and Repair and Test Equipment. Kasama din po doon yung electrical engineering law pertaining to registered master electrician. Then, ang pangalawang part ng exam is the Philippine Electrical Code Part 1 and 2. So, yung lahat ng nakapaloob sa eh, Philippine Electrical Code. So, meron tayong requirements for installation of wiring and equipment, approved wiring methods, types of wiring materials and wiring devices, installation of switchboards and panel boards, installation in hazardous location, wiring diagrams of different types of motor starters with motor protection, then drawing symbols and wiring plants. Then, the passing grade. No? So, yung, te yung technical subject, so that will consist 50% of your total uh, rating. Tapos, yung PEC naman is 50% na yung total rating. Kapag Kapag kinuha na yung average nun, dapat you will have a pa, uh, passing general average of 70%. So, dapat 70% yung general average nyo. Tapos, wala kayong grade na below 50%. Mga mayroong sabihin yan. Kunyari, kunyari, sa ano nyo? Sa, tic, sa technical subject nyo, you got Ah, uh, siguro 
kukuha nyo is um, 60, ah, 49, no? 49%. No? So, 49% sa kinuha na yung kanyang, ano, ng kanyang average ng 49%. Tapos, sa ano naman, dito naman sa sa ano nyo, sa Philippine Electrical Code nyo, so PEC, so nakakuha kayo ng uh, tina, nakakuha kayo ng 80, no? 80%. So kukunin dito yung 50% ng 49 or 0.5 so that will be ano to, uh, this will be so 49 divided by 2, that will be 24.5, no? Habang ito naman, okay, so siguro gagawin natin itong 90, no? para short lang ang papasa. So 90, so this will be, kulang pa niyata. 45, point, ah, 45, no? So ito gawin natin, ano, 92 na lang yung PEC nyo, no? 92%. So this will be 46. Okay, so kapag kinuha yung total nito, so this will be 50 so, ito ay yung magiging 70.5. So, you manage to get the passing grade. You know, yung passing grade na, yung passing grade na, ano, 70.5. No? Yung passing grade is 70 kasi. Kaso lang, for this one, hindi pa rin kayo pasado because you have a subject na yung score nyo is bababa sa 50%, which is the technical subject. So, ang mayayari, uh, hindi... Hey, hindi kayo fail but you will be considered as uh, conditional no kapag nag-apply kayo ulit to get the exam so ang ilalagay lang doon is conditional tapos ilagay nyo kung anong subject kayo uh, bumaba sa 50% at yun lang yung kukunin niyo na subject kapag ito na ipasa niyo then you will get now your license so pasado na kayo sa board exam so ito hindi hindi to pasado kasi bumaba kayo sa 50% Okay. So we have now the examination proper. So ano yung gagawin natin during the exam? No, yung exam is a uh, one day, no? So una 7 a.m. to 7:45 p.m. So dapat 7 a.m. to 7:45 a.m. pala. So dapat maaga kayo doon because you will have the general instructions. So bibigyan ng proctor tapos may i-fill out kayo ng mga forms. No? So, dapat at least, kung ako dati 5.30 a.m., dapat nandun na kayo sa uh, sa room assignment niyo or sa exam venue. Then, from 8 a.m. to 12 noon, so, yan will be 4 hours of technical subject. So, ito, this will be you know, 50, per, 50 items, tapos, multiple, quest, multiple choice questions siya. No? So ito yung lahat na mga topic no na dapat yung pag-aralan no kasi yung mga questions is galing sa mga topic na to. So that will be 4 hours. Sa hapon naman 1 to 5 PM that will be the part to technical at no Philippine Electrical Code parts 1 and 2. So ito ganun pa rin this will be 50% multiple choice question. So ito rin yung mga topic na kung saan pagkukunan ng question or basically lahat ng nasa Philippine Electrical Code yun yung nandito sa hapon, no? sa hapon exam which is all about Philippine Electrical Code okay so ano yung magiging style natin dito no? sa ating free RMA online refresher via YouTube no? so ating session 1 so, to session 10, that will focus on the technical subjects. So, meron tayo dito mga topics. So, session 1 will be basic electricity and Ohm's law. So, ito yung ating i-discuss ngayon. Then, session 2 will be DC circuit. Then, session 3, electrical components. Session 4, AC component. Uh, AC circuits. Session 5, electrical materials and tools. Session 6 will be generators and alternators. Session 7 will be motors and controllers. Session 8 will be about transformers. Session 9 will be about power plants. And Session 10 will be calculator techniques. So, yung mga nga technique na gagamitin nyo, kung paano nyo, uh, kung paano nyo gagawing mas madali yung exam using the 
calculator na prescribed no to be used during the exam okay then session 11 will be all about Philippine Ethical Code so ito yung RA 7920 tapos code of ethics no yun ko yun ko yung code of ethics for electrical engineers and electrical safety then general provision of PEC and wiring symbols then wiring protection wiring methods and material electrical equipment then special equipment occupancies and special conditions and the last one will be communication systems and water traps so yan yung lahat nito yung session 17 so this will be 17 no videos sa ating series na to no so uh, the uploading of this video will be um ano lang yung yung during uh, pagka-upload ng isang video so after 1 to 2 days eh, yung next session is i-upload yeah, naman tapos yung lahat ng mga notes na dito is nandoon lang sa ibaba ng ating video no yung link para ma-download niyo yung lahat ng mga notes okay Okay, so basic electricity and Ohm's law, no? Okay. So nahin na natin yung definition ng electricity. So electricity, so the flow of electrical power or charge. So electricity is an essential part of the modern life, no? And important to the economy. Then people use electricity for lighting, heating, cooling, and refrigeration and for operating appliances, computers, electronic machineries, and public transport systems. No? Transportation systems. So basically, sobrang dami ng application ng electricity, no? ng kuryente. So, um, uh, without electricity, siguro hindi magiging maginhawang buhay natin ngayon at hindi siguro mag advance ang ating technology. But in the uh, sense, yung pinaka-basic na definition ng electricity, so that is the flow of electrical power or charge. Okay. So, speaking of electricity, we have the negative and positive polarities. So, a polarity is a term used in electricity Magnetism and electronic sig signaling, just to name a few areas. So, we have the first type of polarity, which is the negative polarity, defined as the pole having the most electrons. So, yung negative, nandoon yung may pinakamadaming electrons. Habang positive polarity is assigned to the pole with the fewest electrons. So, electrons move from the negative pole to the positive pole when the two poles are linked by a wire. So, kunyari, ito yung ating negative pole. So, yung ating electron dito, puputa yan sa ating positive pole or sa ating positive pola, polarity if we will be connecting here a wire. No? So, electrons. No? Electrons is a stable subatomic particle with a negative electrical charge. So, when we say electrons, negative yan. So, the mass of electron is equal to 9.10938 times 10 to the power of negative 31 kilograms. So, when we say 10 to the power of negative 31, so sobrang uh, liit na number niya, no? So, that is uh, 30, uh, 0 point, tapos 30 na 0 bago tayo mapunta sa 9. No? So, sobrang liit na number niya, no? It has a mass about 1,836 times less than the mass of a proton. Habang yung proton naman is a stable subatomic particle with a positive electrical charge no so yung mass ng protons is 1836 uh, times greater than the electrons then it has a mass of about 1.672 62192 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kilograms about the same as the neutron proton have the same absolute charge than electrons just positively charged no so that char its charge is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the power so ito muna tong exponent tong negative 19 so that is to the power of negative 19 coulombs so protons and neutrons are found in the atoms nucleus which is why they are called nucleons so yung neutron at protons ang tawag diyan because nakikita sila sa loob ng nucleus ng ating atom they are called nucleons 
So this is our this is the the structure of our atom. So ito yung electrons natin. So they are orbiting on our nucleus. So yung sa loob ng nucleus, diyan nakikita yung neutron at yung proton, no? So ito namang line kung saan doon ay ito yung sinusunod ng ating ng pag-ikot ng ating electron. Ang tawag diyan is electron orbit, no? So if there is uh, if there is another electron here or another atom na kung saan pwedeng mag-transfer yung uh, yung electron to sa kabila no uh, an another atom then that transfer itself will create charge and that flow of charge will now create electricity so ganun na yung concept ng electricity the flow of charge so meaning yung ating atoms yung ating electrons is nang move from one atom to another therefore therefore creating two polarities we have a negative polarity and a positive polarity so that is the very basic a concept of electricity. So electric charge, no? So if we have two particles which are uh, which does not have any charge, so they are uncharged. Therefore, they do not attract or repel each other. If they have opposite charges, for example, they are they are positive and negative, so they will attract, no? If they are like charges, meaning they are like positive charge, no, parehong positive, then they will repel. So they will move away. So sila ay lalayo sa isa't isa. No? If they are like negative charges, no, pareho silang negative, then they will also repel each other. So same sa positive. So by this concept alone, we could say that like charges repel and like charges attract. So yan yung concept ng charge. Okay, so the charge of an electron and that of a proton are equal in magnitude but opposite of in polarity. So, yung proton, positive. So, meaning, ang kanyang polarity is positive. Habang yung electron naman is negative. So, meaning, ang kanyang polarity is negative. So, the force acting between charges is called an electric field. So, kung ano yung force na nasa gitna or, or the force that are um, acting between these two charges, ang tawag doon is electric field. So, Coulomb. So, ele electrical charge Q is measured in Coulombs. No? So, by definition, 1 Coulomb is the total charge possessed by 6.25 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons or 6.25 times 10 to the power of 18 protons. So, kasi pareho lang charge yung uh, protons at electrons. So, if you are going to, to get the charge in terms of the number of electrons, so we just use this formula. So, number of electrons divide 6.25 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons. No? So, voltage. So, voltage is the, is the force or the pressure, the electrical pressure which pushes no, our electrons to move from one atom to another. So, kaya ang ibang tawag sa, ano, sa voltage, no? the other term for voltage is potential no or electrical potential tapos meron ding emf no so this is electro motive force no? so yan yung meaning ng emf so the unit for voltage is v so 1 volt is the energy of 1 joule that is consumed when electric charge of 1 coulomb flows in the Circuit. So, E is equal to W over Q, wherein our E is the voltage, the, the unit is volts. No? Then, um, W is work on, or energy, which the unit is joule. And Q is the charge, which the unit is column. Or the symbol for column is C. So, current. No? Current is the movement of free electrons from negative to positive. No? So, that is electrical current. The amount of electrical charge that flow in an electrical circuit per second. No? So, the other definition for current is the amount of electrical charge that flows in an electrical circuit per second. So, the unit for electrical current is ampere. So, we have here the formula I is equal to Q over T. So, where in our I is equal to current, our Q is charge, and our T is time. So, the unit for time is in seconds. So, meaning... If we have charge, no? If we have the charge, then we divide it by the number of seconds, no? Then we could get the 
current flowing in our wire. Okay, the resistance. No? So the property of a material that res that restricts the flow of current no? is called resistance. So the unit for resistance is ohm. The symbol is this one, omega. No? Then we have electrical power. So electrical power is the rate of consuming electrical energy. So, so what is the unit for electrical power? Power and we have this formula. So P is equals to E over I, wherein our P is power, our E is voltage, and our I is ampere. No, so because this uh, formula is very useful, so there is a technique on how to manipulate this formula. No, kung pa paano natin gamitin tong formula na to, uh, uh, para masolb yung mga uh, kailangan natin isolb kung yari yung inahanap is power. So how we are going to use this formula? Ipang hinahanap is voltage given the power and the current. So, merong technique yan. We have this so-called power triangle. No? So, later on our discussion, we will also know the Ohm's law triangle. So, this, here we will write P. No? Ito yung ating E at dito yung ating I. So, for example, if you are going to solve for our P, so, meaning ito yung wala. So, kapag ito yung wala, yung matitira lamang is E at I. No? So, matitira is yung E at I. So, ang, ang gagawin natin kasi itong E at I is magkatabi. So, they will be multiplied. No? Tapos, yung wala, yan yung ating equal. So, P is equals to E times I. Now, for example, yung E natin yung wala. No? Ito yung wala. So, matitira is P tapos over I. So, you could write that one as P over I. So, inahanap natin dyan is yung E, yung voltage. For example, we are going to, we are, the problem requires us to compute the current. So, ito yung wala. So, ang matitira is P over E. So, we will have I is equal to P over E. No? So, ganito lang. No? Paano gamitin yung formula? No? Depending kung ano yung hinahanap. Okay? Then, electrical energy. So, this is the capacity to do work. So, kilowatt R or KWH dash HR, no? so, kilowatt R, that is the commercial unit of electrical energy. Meaning, yan yung binabayaran natin. No? Yung, yung unit ng bi, binabayaran natin na, na electrical energy is measured by kilowatt R. So, kaya may sabing 10 pesos per kilowatt hour, 25 pesos per kilowatt hour. So, yung, yung, yung kilowatt hour dyan is yung electrical energy. Then, Joule is the unit for energy. No? In physics, the SI unit or the system international or the standard unit for energy is Joule. And we know that electrical energy is a form of energy. So, pwede na natin gamitin yung Joule as a unit of energy. Then we have also BTU. So, 1 British Thermal Unit or BTU is equal to 1.005 kilojoules or kg. Then, resistance in wires. No? So, this is a very important formula. Kung, kung saan pwede natin makuha yung resistance ng wire given the following parameters. So, if you are given with the resistivity of the material, the length of uh, wire, the cross-sectional area of wire, and the volume of wire. So, for example, we are given with the resistivity. So, the resistance is equal to the resistivity times the length of the wire over the cross-sectional area of the wire. If the given is the length and the, and the volume of the wire, so that will be uh, the resistivity times the square of the length of the wire over the volume of the wire. If the given is the volume in the area, so we have the resistivity times the volume over the square of the area of the wire. So, yung resistivity that is constant, no, nakadepende yan sa klase ng ating conductor. Either the conductor is copper, silver, aluminum, no, gold, so nakadepende yan. So, for this one, if this is now for the unit analysis, kung ano yung unit natin gagamitin, or, an, or ano yung magiging unit ng ating sagot depending on the given. For example, our given is the resistivity. No? Dito, ang tawag dito is rho. So, that is the Greek, un, the Greek letter no? na rho. 
So, if rho is equal to ohm meter, dapat yung length natin is naka meter, yung area natin is naka square meter, tapos yung volume natin is naka cubic meter. No? Tapos, if our given rho is ohm centimeter, so dapat yung length natin is centimeter, yung area is square centimeter, and yung ating volume is cubic centimeter. Now, if our given is ohm uh, circular mill, that is cm per feet, so dapat yung length natin is feet, tapos yung area natin is naka circular mill. So speaking of circular mill, so circular mill, or CM, no? that is the area of a circle having a diameter of 1 mil. So, the, the mil is usually used para makuha yung um, uh, to denote, no? or para sabihin natin kung ano yung, uh, yung unit ng ating wire. No? So, 1 mil no? is equal to a wire having a diameter of 0 0.001 inch. No? So, 1 mil is equal to uh, 0 0.001 inch. So, in order to get the the circular mil, no? so, ang, ang gagawin lang natin is we just uh, we just square no? the, the, the diameter of the wire in which the, the unit for that uh, value of the, the, the diameter of the wire, ang unit niya is naka mils. So, note din na yung 1 MCM or 1 uh, mega circular mil is equal to 1,000 circular mils. So, ito, im importante dito kasi, kasi kadalasan ng mga wire, lalo na yung sa, um, sa American wire gauge is naka MCM. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, yung isang M MCM that is equivalent to 1,000 circular mil. Then, effects of temperature in resistance. No? So we have this formula here The ratio between R1 and R, R2 and R1 So yung R2 natin is the final temperature Yung R1 natin is initial temperature Is equal to T plus T2 over T plus T sub 1 Yung T natin tawag to is inferred absolute temperature So the temperature when the resistance of a given material is zero So ibig sabihin ito yung temperature Na kung saan yung ating material Kunyari yung ating wire is nagiging superconductor Kasi zero ang kanyang resistance no then uh, our t2 and t1 so t2 is the final temperature and t1 is the initial temperature so we could also have this formula so r2 over r1 is equals to 1 plus alpha t sub 1 wherein our alpha is the temperature coefficient of resistance meaning that is uh, ilang ilang temperature increase or temperature decrease ang nang, ang nangyayari sa ating sa ating wire no depending on the change in temperature. So, yan yung ibig sabihin ng temperature coefficient of resistance. Because the effect of temperature resistance is kapag tumaas yung temperature natin, ang, ang nangyayari, yung ating resistance din ay tumataas. No? So, that we, so, that is alpha T sub 1, so we have T2 minus T1. And alpha T sub 1, so that's equivalent to 1 over T, which is the inferred absolute temperature plus T sub 1. Okay, so we have now here this table. So this is the common, no? the common electrical parameters of our common uh, conductors. So first we have silver. So the resistivity for silver in ohm per circular mil feet is 9.9. .9, no? Tapos ang kanyang inferred absolute temperature is 243 degrees Celsius. At ang kanyang alpha or the or the temperature coefficient at 20 degrees Celsius is 0 0.0038 for copper. No, the resistivity is 10.37 ohm circular mil per feet. Ang kanyang inferred temperature is 234.5 degrees Celsius. Habang ang kanyang alpha is 0 0.00393. Then the aluminum, no, 17. Ang kanyang resistivity, no, ohm circular mil per feet. 236 is the inferred uh, temperature, no? 236 degrees Celsius. Tapos yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang uh, alpha no? or the coefficient of temperature is 0 0.0039. Tungsten is 33, 202 yung absolute, uh, inferred absolute temperature. Tapos yung alpha is 0 0.0045. Tapos yung zinc, 36 ang kanyang resistivity, 250 degrees Celsius ang kanyang 
inferred absolute temperature habang ang kanyang alpha is 0.0037 Okay Conductance no So conductance is the measure of the material's ability to conduct electric current So this is the exact opposite or the reciprocal of our resistance the unit for uh, the unit for conductance is Siemens. No? Dati, ang tawag sa Siemens is Mo. So, parang bina, bin, binaliktad lang na Ohm. No? So, if we are given with our resistance, so yung conductance natin, G, that is, that is just equal to 1 over R. No? So, yung, yung 1, i-divide lang natin kung ano yung given resistance. Or, we could have this one, the conductivity times the area over the length of the wire, wherein our, con or wherein our con conductivity is just equal to 1 over our resistivity or the reciprocal of our resistivity. So this one, that is the conductivity, Shamans per meter. Our L is our length, which is in meters. A is a cross-sectional area, which is a square meter. Our rho is the specific resistance, so ohm meter. Then our G is conductance in Shamans, and our R is resistance in which the unit is in ohms. Okay, ohms law. So, Ohm's law states that the current drawn by an electrical circuit is inversely proportional to the circuit resistance. So, the proportionality constant is equal to the supply voltage of the circuit. So, ibig sabihin yan, kung sa ang circuit natin, yung current will depend or will vary to the value of the resistance. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, kung constant yung voltage, tapos binago natin yung, yung, ating, yung ating resistance, magbabago yung value ng current na dumadaan sa ating wire. Okay? So, we have this, the Ohm's Law Triangle. No? Palang katuloy ito ng power triangle kanina. So, if you are going to solve for the voltage, no? V, so voltage is just equal to I times R. Kasi I times R. So, makatabi yung I at R. If we are going to find for the current, so ang matitira is V over R. So, I is equal to V over R. If you are going to solve for the resistance, so ito, so ang maiiwan, ito yung nahanap, so ito yung wala. Ang maiiwan is V over I. So, R is equal to V over I. So, wherein our I, that is the current drawn by our circuit, which is in ampere. Our V is the voltage across the resistor. So, uh, minsan din, ginagamit natin yung V for voltage, pwede rin yung E. No? Pero kadalasan, I I am uh, doing my solution. Kung, kung ako yung nasusolve, E yung ginagamit ko para hindi ako malito between the symbol for volts and the symbol for the voltage. No? Kasi parehas lang V. Kaya yung voltage ginagawa kong E. Which E stands for EMF or electromotive force. Then R is the resistance of the resistor which is in ohm. Okay. So now we will go to our solved problems. So we have maybe 25 na solved problems natin. Tapos uh, after after this one, no, pwede nyo ding i-post yung video, try i-try nyo ding i-solve yung bawat problem na yun. Okay? So let's start. Okay, so ngayon we will now go to solve problems. So we will now try to solve some problems, no common problems na lalabas sa RME board exam no okay so first problem a current of 5 amperes flow through a conductor against a potential of 200 volts no 200 volts so the power dissipated will be so tingnan natin kung ano yung solution natin dito no so, the requirement, so yung current natin is equal to 5 amperes habang yung ating voltage or potential difference is 200 volts. So, we need to find, hanapin natin yung ating power dissipated. Okay, so by using power triangle, no, if hindi nyo na-memorize yung formula for power, so you just use power triangle para mas madali. This will be your power, this will be your voltage and this will be your current no so ang hinahanap is power so ito yung wala so susulat natin yan kapag ito yung wala yung matitira is yung i at yung e na magkatabi so that will be times 
Okay, so we have 200 volts times 5 amperes. So your power is equal to 1000 watts. No? At ito yung ating answer, which is letter A. Okay, next. Power taken by a resistance of 20 ohms with a flow of 10 ampere current is black. Okay. So, solution. So, ang ating resistance, no, given na natin is 20 ohms. Our current is 10 amperes. No? So, kailangan natin uh, isolve ang power. So, hinahanapan tayo ng power. So, if we are going to have our power triangle, so this is our P, E, I. So, ito yung wala. So, P is equals to E times I. No? So, kaso lang, wala tayong E. Wala tayong voltage. No? So, Ang gagawin natin ngayon is use the Ohm's Law Triangle to find our voltage. So, ito yon, Ito yung E, I, at R. So, solving for E, E is equals to I times R. So, ang ating, ang ating um, I is 10 amperes. Tapos, yung R natin is 20 ohms. So, we have... So, 20 times 10, we have 200 volts. No? So, ito is substitute natin dito. So, we have 200 volts times 10 amperes. So, 200 times 10, so this is 200 volts, times 10, that will be 2,000 watts. Tapos, ang unit kasi is puro nakakilowatts. So, we have 1 kilowatt is equal to 1,000 watts, no? So, ang gagawin lang natin is 2,000 divided by 1,000, that will be 2 kilowatts. At ito na yung answer natin, which is letter D. Okay. So, if gusto nyo mag-solve, no? So, you could always pause the video, tapos isolve nyo muna, tapos itrain nyo ulit para makita nyo kung ano yung solution, no? Okay. Next, uh, 100 volt is applied to a circuit of resistance of 10 ohms. The power di dissipated by the resistance will be blank. So, hinahanap naman ngayon is yung power given yung voltage at yung resistance. So, our voltage is 100 volts. No? So, solution. Our voltage is 100 volts. Our resistance is 10 ohms. Ang hinahanap is the power. Okay, so using our Ohm's Law, no? Ohm's Law Triangle tayo. Okay, so hinahanap is power, so P, E, I. So kung ito yung wala, so, so matitira is nasa baba, so E times I. So wala tayong current sa given. No? So we will use Ohm's Law Triangle to use the uh, to find the current, para mahanap natin yung current. So, we have E, I times R. No? So, yung so being for I, so ito, wala to, so I is equal to E over R. So, our E, our voltage is 100 volts. Then, our resistance is 10 ohms. So, we have 100 divided by 10. So, our current is equal to 10 Amperes, no? So, atin lang i-substitute dito. So, we have 100 volts times 10 amperes. So, 100 times 10. So, that will be 1,000 watts. So, yung answer is letter B. Okay, next. Energy consumed by a heater of rating 1,000 watts by operating it for a period of 2 hours will be black. Okay, so hinahanap naman ito is yung kilowatt R. Okay, so ang given sa atin is the power which is 1000 watts tapos yung ating Rs which is 2 Rs, no? 
So, ang, for, ang formula po that one because we are solving for kilowatt r, no? So that will be equal to power times the r over 1000, no? So yung power natin is 1000 watts times 2 hours over 1000. So mangyayari kasi niyan, itong 1000 di itong 1000 watts din ibibigay ng 1000 magiging kilowatt na yan. So maka-cancel na natin yan, no? So we will have 2 kilowatt hours. At ito na yung ating sagot which is letter B. Okay? Next. The resistance of a 3.6 Heater when operated from a 120 volt circuit is blank. So, ano da yung resistance ng ating 3 point kilowatt heater when operated at 120 circuit? No? So, solution. Okay. So, ang given natin, ang ating power is 3.6 kilowatt or this will be equivalent to 3,000 600 watts tapos yung ating voltage is 120 volts so ang hinahanap natin is our resistance r no okay so solving now for r no gamit natin yung ohms law triangle natin so this will be our e I R. So, kung ito yung hinahanap natin yung ating R, so R will be equal to E over I. So, voltage over the current. Kaso lang, wala tayong current. So, punta tayo sa power triangle. No? So, this will be our power, this will be our voltage, and this will be our current. So, hinahanap natin yung current. So, our current will be equal to P over E. So, we have 3,600 watts divided by 120 volts. So, our current will be equal to, so for this time, let's call upon our calculator. No? Okay. So, we have 3,000, 3,600 divide 120 yeah this will be equal to 30 no so equal to 30 amperes no tapos substitute natin yung i dito so we have 120 volts divided by 30 amperes so 120 divided 30 so our r will be equal to 4 Ohms. So the answer is letter B. Okay, next. So if a light bulb rated at 100 watts, 120 volts is connected no? across a 240 volt source, the wattage will be blank. So, ano na yung magiging wattage ng ating bulb, no? Kapag 240 volts na siya connect. Um, in practicality, so kapag 120 yung voltage mo, tapos kinunik yung sa 240, so siguro, nangyari dyan is magiging busted yung bulb, no? But, but for this example, so, atin nalang isosolve, no? Kung ano yung wattage, Okay? So, solution. So, una is kukunin natin yung R dito. Kasi, yung given yung wattage at yung voltage, so we could get the R or the resistance. So, kahit i-connect natin yan sa ibang, ano naman, sa ibang sources o sa ibang voltage source, magiging ganun pa rin yung resistance niyan. Because, ang resistance sa isang material is constant unless yung length niya or yung kanyang diameter is ating or area is ating binago if all is constant yung bulb is yung bulb pa rin so mangyayari magiging constant yung kanyang resistance okay so first 
Kunin natin yung R dito. No? So, given tayo ng power which is 100 watts, ang ating voltage is 120 volts. So, our resistance R is unknown. So, using Ohm's Law Triangle. Okay. So, E, I, R. So, our R is equal to E over I. Kaso lang dito, wala tayong uh, I. No? So, punta tayo sa isang triangle, yung power triangle. Okay. So, we have P, E, I. So, Kunin natin yung I. So, I natin is equal to P over E. So, your power is 100 watts over 120 volts. Okay? So, using our calculator. So, we have 100 divide 120. So, you have 0 0.833. No? So, our our power is 0 0.833 amperes, the power of the current. No? Tapos ito, substitute natin dito. No? So, R is equal to E over I. So, we have 120 volts divided by 0 0.833 amperes. So, our R now is equal to So, 120 divide. So, ito kasi yung answer kanina. Kaya ito yung answer yung i-click ko. So, that is one of the calculator techniques na nalaman natin sa session 10. Okay? So, we have 144. Okay. So, 144. So, 144 ohms. Okay. So, ngayon naman is i-connect natin siya sa 120 na source, no? So, yung ating voltage is equal now to 240 plus 120. 240 volt na source, no? So, ang tinatanong ngayon is ano yung kanyang magiging uh, wattage, no? So, power. Okay. So, yung R natin dito is 144 ohms, no? So, gawa mo na tayo ng ano, triangle. Okay, so this will be our power, this will be our voltage, and this will be our current. No? So solving for power, so power is equal to voltage times the current. No? Kaso lang, wala tayong current. Ang nun sa atin is the power. So punta naman tayo sa ibang triangle, the Ohm's Law Triangle. Okay, so we have here our voltage current resistance. So, from this one, we can now solve our current which is equal to um, E over R. So, we have 240 volts divided by 144 ohms. So, our current is equal to So, we have 240 divided 144. So, 1.67. No? So, we have 1.67 amperes. So, from this one also, we substitute natin yung dito. So, we have our voltage is 240 volts times our current is 1.67. 67 amperes. Okay. Okay, so we have 240. Tapos ito yung answer kanina. So times na natin ang answer. So that will be 400. So the correct answer is 400 watts. So answer is letter D. 400 watts. Okay? Next. A battery can deliver 10 joules of energy to move 5 coulombs of charge. So, what is the potential difference between the terminals of the battery? So, when we say potential difference, so that is the same with voltage or 
EMF. So, ang meaning sa EMF is electromotive force. Okay. So, we have here our solution. Okay. So, ang given natin is yung work which is or energy which is 10 joules. Tapos yung charge which is equivalent to 5 coulombs. No? So, inahanap natin is voltage. So, from our previous topic into ako sa formula yung discuss natin kanina. So, voltage is equal to work over charge. So, we have 10 joules divide 5 coulombs. So, you will have 10 divide 5 that will be 2 volts. So, the answer is letter A. Okay, next. The current in an electric lamp is 5 amperes. What quantity of, electrics, of electricity flows through towards the filament in 6 minutes? Okay, so inahanap dito is yung charge. No? Yan yung quantity, not quantity, quantity of electricity. No? So, ang given, yung current natin is 5 amperes, habang yung time natin is 6 minutes. For this one, we need to convert this one into seconds. So, 60 seconds is to 1 minute. So, uh, 6 times 60, that will be 360 seconds. No? So, ang inahanap is the charge. So, from our discussion earlier, so current is equal to charge per unit time. Now, solving for charge, of course, multiply natin dito. So, I times T is equal to Q. Pwede rin pagpalitin natin. So, Q is equal to the current times the time. So, our current is 5 amperes and our time is 360 seconds. No? So, using our calculator, so we have 5 times 360, so that will be 1,800 ohms, uh, column, no? 1,800 columns. So the answer is letter D. A constant current of 4 ampere charges a capacitor. How long will it take to accumulate a total charge of 8 columns on the plates? No? Okay, solution. So, hinahanap dito is the time. No? So, given natin yung current, which is 4 amperes. Tapos, yung charge, which is 8 coulombs. So, yung T yung wala. Okay, so, from the formula, no? So, current is equal to charge per unit time. So, ang sinosolve naman natin dito is yung time. So, cross multiply natin yan. So, I, T is equal to Q. Ito rin, hindi kapatid sa kabila. So, magiging denominator yung I sa Q. So, we have time is equal to Q over T. So, meron tayong Q. Yung Q natin is 8 column habang yung ating ampere is 4 ampere. No? So, 8 divided by 4, that will be Two seconds. So the answer is letter A. Okay, next. A cloud of 2.5 times 10 to the power of 9 electrons move past a given point every two seconds. So how much is the intensity of electron flow? So inahanap dito is yung um, current, no? intensity of electron flow. Solution. So, given yung seconds natin, which is 2 seconds, given din yung ating number of electrons, which we could relate to charge, which is 2.5 times 10 to the power of 19 electrons. So, ito, kailangan natin itong i-convert into coulomb. So, 1 coulomb is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons. So, siguro i-note natin yan dito, no? Dito, siguro, dito din yung note. Yan. So, note. 1 column is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons. Okay. So, isa yan sa mga conversion natin ngayon. No? Okay. 
So, going back. So, this will be equal to, so we'll use our calculator for this one. Huh? So, meron tayong 2. So, pag ganito, dapat naka-parenthesis. Yan. 2.5 XP 19 divide. So, open parenthesis naman kayo. 6 point. Kasi ito, ito, di-divide yun dito. No? 6.25 times uh, 25 times 10 to the power of 18. No? So, we will have 4. No? So, we will have 4 colo. Okay. So, we will have 4 colon. So, solving for solving for the current. So, I is equals to Q over T. So, yung Q natin is 4 colon kasi dapat talaga yung, yung kapag ginamit natin ito ng formula, dapat yung charge natin is nakakolom. Kaya nga, from electrons, kinumbert natin into colon. 4 colon over 2 amperes. So, you will have, ano, not 2 amperes. Ayan. So, this will be So, this will be Four column over two seconds. So you will have two amperes. So ito na yung magiging answer natin. Two amperes. Okay, next. So the substation bus bar is made up of two inches round copper bars, 20 feet long. So what is the resistance of each bar if resistivity is 1.724 times 10 to the power of negative 6 ohms centimeter? Okay, so ano daw yung magiging ano daw yung magiging resistance no ng ating bus bar no Okay, solution Okay. So first Ang gagawin natin is yung formula mo natin yung isasulat natin. So, rho L A, no? or R plus. So, yung rho natin is the resistivity. So, our rho from the given is ito. So, 1.724 times 10 to the power of negative 6 ohm centimeter. Habang yung ating length no? is equal to 20 feet. So, kasi ito naka-centimeter, so dapat lahat ng unit area at yung length natin must be in centimeter also. So, convert natin. So, 12 inches is to 1 feet or 1 foot times 2.54 centimeter is to 1 inch. Okay? So, ito cancel, 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 cancel. So, we'll have... 20 times 12 times 2.54. No? So, you see my calculator. So, you have 20 times 12 times 2.54. So, this will be equal to 609.6. No? 609.6. Tapos ngayon yung ating area. So, given ito is 2 inches round copper. So, pag sinabing 2 inches round, yan yung diameter. So, our diameter is 2 inches. We need to convert this one into centimeter again. So, meron tayong... So, meron tayo dito 2.54 centimeter is to 1 inch. So, we will have 2 times... 2.54, so we have 5.08, no? 5.08 centimeter. So, check lang natin, ha? Okay, so 2.54 times 2, so that is 5.08. Okay, so from given our diameter, kasi round yung ating bus bar, no? So, our area is yung area ng circle. So, 5 over 4, d squared. So, we have 5 over 4. 
times 5.08 centimeters squared. So we have 5 times 5.08. So pi times 5.08 squared divided by 4. Okay, so we're going 20.27. So we have 20.27 so square centimeter. So, ngayon, pwede natin i-substitute lahat ito sa ating formula. Okay? So, we have R is equal to rho L over A. So, ang ating rho is 1.724 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So, ilagay natin yung ohm centimeter, no? Yan. Okay, ilagay ko lang ha. So, ohm centimeter. Tapos, yung ating length is 609.6 centimeter all over 20.27 square mm. So, cancel to, cancel. So, ito dito, cancel. So, our R is equal to So, using our calculator. Okay. So we have one point seven two four exp to the negative six times six zero nine point six. So divide kanina ito yung answer natin eh. So, that will be 20.27. Yan. Equals. So, 5.185. No? So, the answer is. So, 5.185 times 10 to the power of negative 5 ohm. So, letter C yung answer. Okay. Okay, now for the next question. Okay. So they determine the resistance of a bus bar made of copper in uh, if the length is 10 meters long and the cross section is 4 by 4 square centimeter so use 1.7241 micro ohm as the resistivity okay so we'll have this one our solution so again the formula is this one so r rho l over a tapos yung ating resistivity no so it's a given that is 1.7241 times 10 to the power of negative 6 ohm centimeter no Yung ating length, so 10 meters, so we'll convert that one into centimeter. So 100 centimeter is to 1 meter. So cancel. Okay. So we will have, so 10 times 100, that will be 1,000 centimeter. Yung area natin is... 4 by 4 square centimeters. So 4 by 4, that is 4 times 4. So that will be 16 square centimeter. So sa dito natin na lahat sa ating formula. Huh? So R is equal to rho L over A or R plus. No? So a shortcut. So we have 1.7241 times 10 to the power of negative 6 ohm centimeter times yung length natin is 1000 cm all over 16 square centimeter okay 
So using now our calculator. So we have 1.7241 micro, so times 10 to the power of negative 6, times 1,000, divide 16. Okay. So yung answer natin is 1.078 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Okay. So yung R natin is equal to 1.078 times 10 to the power of negative 4 ohms. So yung answer is letter D. Okay, next. So a wire has a given resistance of 17.5 ohms. If its length is 560 meters, how much length must be cut off from the wire in order to reduce its resistance to 12.5 ohms? Okay, so solution. Solution. No? So, yung ating R1, no? is 17.5 ohms. Yung length naman niya is 560 meters. Habang yung sa pangalawa, yung R2 natin is 12.5 ohms. Yung L2, yung length niya is 5. Pero itong, ano, itong wire na to is isang wire lang. Ang hinihingi lang is kung ano yung length na ikakat natin if i-reduce natin ang kanyang resistance from 17.5 to 12.5. Okay, so same na wire. So, ibig sabihin, same yung material tapos same yung laki or yung same yung area. Okay, so pwede natin masabi, no? If you have R is equal to rho L over A. So, ito, we can see that's one. This, ito siya ay constant, no? K. So, R is equal to K times L na lang. So, pag ito, R1, so wala namang ito, L1. No? So, pwede, pwede natin itong uh, idipat sa kabila para R1 over L1 is equal to K. Or, like tali natin, K is equal to R1 over L1. Katulad din ito pag R2. No? Kasi, kung palihiran yung area niya, yung klase ng wire. No? Yan. So, from that, no? mula dito, we could say that R1 over L1 is equal to R2 over L2. So, i-substitute natin. So, yung ating R1 is 17.5 ohms. Yung ating length is 560 meters. Yung R2 natin is 12.5. Yung hinahanap natin is yung L2. Ito yung bagong length na kung saan 12.5 yung kanyang ano, yung kanyang kanyang resistance. So, ito yung ipatay sa kabila. So, we have L2 times 17.5 over 560 times 12.5. So, ito naman, lipat natin. Ito din lipat. So, matitira sa kabila is L2 is equal to 12.5 times 560 over 17.5. So, L2. So, using our calculator, so we have 12.5 times 560 times 17.5. So, ay, hindi pala times, but divide. Divide pala yung 17.5. So, 400. You know? So, meron tayong 400 meters. So, yung, yung length natin na bago is dapat 400 meters. So, ang tanong kasi, ilan yung, anong, gano ka haba yung ikakat natin sa 400 sa 560 meters. So, Yung bago na resistance, ang kanyang length is 400 meters. So, gagawin natin, yung ating length na ating ikakat off, yung L natin, so that will be L1 minus L2. So, we have 560 minus 400. So, yung, ang, yung ating L is 160 meters. So, yung answer is letter A. Okay? Next. What is the size in square millimeter? If the cable of is the cable of 250 mcm, yan. So to, so solve na natin to, no? Okay. 
So, we must remember that 1 mcm is equal to 1,000 circular mil or 1,000 cm. At yung cm natin that is equivalent to d squared, but in yung d natin, diameter yan ng wire uh, in mils. Yung unit ng kanyang uh, diameter is mils. No? So, ito. Babax natin yan para madali matandaan. Okay, so, so yung 250 MCM, so that is just equivalent to 250,000 CM. No? So, kasi yung CM natin is equals to D squared, if hahanapin natin yung D, so that is just square root of your CM. So, yung D natin ngayon is square root of 250,000. So, yung D natin is equal to, using our calculator, so square root of 250,000. So, this is equal to 500. No? Okay, 500. So, D is equal to 500. No? Mills. So, gagawin natin itong 500 mils, i-convert natin to mm kasi square millimeter yung hinahanap. So, this will be equal to so, yung ating 1 inch that is equal to 1,000 mils. No? Tapos, yung 254 centimeter is equivalent to 1 inch. Tapos, yung 10 mm is equal to 1 centimeter. So, yung D natin, no? cancel to, cancel. So, ito cancel to dito. No? Cancel, cancel. So, yung tirang unit is in mm. No? So, using our calculator, okay, so, meron tayong 500 times 2.54 so ito times 10 no? times 10 okay. times 10 divide 1000 so we have 12.7 no? so meron tayong 12.7 mm so mula dito so, our area is equal to pi over 4 d squared. So, gana tayong pi over 4 times 12.7 mm squared. So, kukuha na natin yan yung ating equivalent na square mm. Okay. So, gana tayong shift pi. Yeah. Shift pi times 12.7 squared divide 4 okay, so 126.67 okay so 126.67 so 126.67 square mm so ang malapit-lapit is letter B okay next So, a 500 MCR, a MCM ECSR cable has 37 strand. So, determine the diameter in mils of each strand. Okay, solution. So, yung ACSR pala, so that stands for aluminum, copper, steel, reinforced, no? Reinforce. So, copper, aluminum, steel, reinforced na wire. Okay. So, ang hinanap dito is kung ano ang diameter in mils ng each strand. Kasi may 37 strands siya. Okay. So, basically, ating area is equal to 500 mcm, which is equivalent to 500,000 cm. 
So, yung area ng bawat strand, no, area each. No? So, ito, i-divide lang natin yan ng 37 kasi 37 strands eh. So, divide 37. Okay. So, meron tayong 500,000 500,000 divide 37. Okay, that will be 13,513.51 no? So 13,513.51 circular mil So ito na yung area in each strand So para makuha natin yung diameter in each strand So alam natin na yung D is just equal to the CM no? So ito yung circular mils natin so, square up lang natin yan. 13,500 13.51. Okay, so, using our calculator, so, square root, it, ito na yung answer ko kanina eh. So, answer na yung gagamitin ko. So, that will be 116.25. Okay, so, the answer is letter A. no 116.25. Yung unit niyan is meals. So, letter a. 16. A resistance of a copper wire at 30 degrees Celsius is 50 ohm. If the temperature coefficient of copper at 0 degrees is 0 0.0047, what is the resistance at 100 degrees Celsius? Okay. Solution. Okay. So, yung ating R1 is equal to 50 ohms. Yung ating temperature, 1, no, the initial temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Tapos yung ating R2 is 100, hindi pala, yun hana pala is yung R2, no? So, ating R2 is uh, unknown. So, yung T2 is 100 degrees Celsius. So, yung hinahanap is Alpha. Yung ating alpha sub zero. Ay, hinahanap natin is R2. Yung alpha sub zero naman natin is 0 0.00427. Okay. So, to solve for this one, yung given in the formula is R2 over R1 is equal to T plus So, T plus T2 over T plus T sub 1. No? Okay. So, yung R2 natin will be, cross multiply natin dyan. So, R1 is just equal, uh, R2 is equal to R1 times T plus T2 over T plus T1. No? Okay. So, meron na tayong R1, T1 at T2, yung natin yung T. So, from Sa formula din na yung alpha natin that is equals to 1 over t plus t. No? So, if dito 0, our t will be equal to 0. So, mangyari na alpha 0 is just equal to 1 over t plus 0 or equal lang siya sa 1 over t. No? So, cross multiply natin. So, our t will be equal to 1 over alpha sub 0. So, I think alpha sub 0 is 0 0.00427 so our t is equal to 1 1 divided by 0 0.00427 equals so 234.19 so note dito 234.19 degrees Celsius. So, ito yung substitute natin dito. So, our R1 is 50 degrees Celsius. So, you have 234.19 degrees Celsius plus T2 which is 100 degrees Celsius all over 234.19 plus 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, solve natin sa ating calculator. 
Okay, so we have 50 tapos times 234.19 plus 100 divide 234.19 plus 30 equals so we have 63.25 or 24 dito na 63.25 yung answer natin so our R2 is equivalent to 63.25 ohm so yung pinakapalapit is letter C Okay, so ito yung answer. No? Next. So number 17 tayo. Determine the resistance uh, The resistance of a wire is 126.48 at 100 degrees Celsius and 100 ohms at 30 degrees. Determine the coefficient of copper at 0 degrees Celsius. Okay. Solution. So, nahanap dito is yung alpha at zero. No? So, to get the alpha at zero, kailangan natin yung alpha zero is equal to one over t. No? Ahanapin natin yung t. Ito ang ginawa natin kanina. Nakuha, nakuha natin yung t using this one. Ngayon ito naman yung ginahanap. Okay, so our R1 is equivalent to 126.48. Our T1 is equal to 100 degrees Celsius. Our R2 is equal to 100 ohms. No? And our T2 is equal to 30 degrees Celsius. No? So, ating formula, R1, uh, R2 over R1 is equal to T plus T2 over T plus T1. No? So we just su substitute all the given So we have 100 over 126.48 Ohms is yan, so makakasete yung ohms Is equal to T plus 30 degrees over T plus 100 no? So ito 1, 100 divided by 126.48 Natin ko ito yung sagot niya, yung calculator. So, 100 divided by 120, 126.48. So, this will be equal to 0 0.791. No? So, 0 0.791. Ito ulit sa kabila. We have T plus... 100 is equal to T plus 30. No? So, distribute natin itong 0 0.791. So, we have 0 0.791 T plus ito. 0 0.791 times 100, that will be 79.1 is equal to T plus 30. No? So, combine natin yung parehong may T. So, ito ilalipat sa kabila, magiging negative yan. 0 0.7 91 T minus T is equal to, ito naman dipat sa kabila, magiging negative. So, 30 minus 79.1. Okay. Then, simplify. No? So, ang nangyari is yung ano, yung 0 0.791 minus natin sa 1. No? So, 0 0.7 0.791 minus 1. So, that will be 0 0.209. No? So, we will have negative 0 0.209t is equal to 30. Equal to, so Minus 79.1 So, for negative 49.1 So, we have Negative 49.1 So, divide both sides by negative 0 
So, dito, T na lang yung matitira. No? Ito na negative 0.209. So, our T is just equal to negative 49.1 divide 0.209. No? So, negative 49. Negative 49.1 divide divide negative 0.209. So this will be equal to 234.93. No? So our T is equal to 234.93 degrees Celsius. Now solving for our alpha 0, so it's just 1 over T. Okay. So, we will have 1, 1 divided by 234.93. Okay. So, the answer is 0, 4, uh, this, is, this will be 4.26 times 10 to the power of negative 3 or 0 0.00426. So, this will be, uh, the answer dito is... Uh, 0 0.00426 So, ito yung answer. So, pinakamanapit na answer is letter A. Okay? Okay, so next question. No? So, the field winding of a series motor has a resistance of 120 ohms at 15 degrees Celsius. After running for 2 hours, the resistance uh, the resistance is 240 ohms. If the temperature coefficient of winding at 0 degrees is 0 0.04, find the new temperature of the winding. So, solution. No? Okay. So, yung ating R1 is equal to 120 ohms. Yung ating T1 is 15 degrees Celsius. Yung ating R2 naman is 140 ohms. Tapos yung ating T2 is yun yung hinahanap. Mento yung alpha sub 0 which is equal to 0 0.004. 0 0.004. Okay. So using the formula, so R1, uh, R2 over R1 is equals to T plus T2 over T plus T1. No? So, yung ating R, R2 is 140. Ating R1 is 120 ohms. Habang yung ating T, wala tayong given na T. Yung T2 yung ating hinahanap. So, then T plus 15 no? degrees. So, so, yan yung ating T1. So, to solve for T, no? yung malaking T, that will be 1 over T, yung ating alpha. So, yung ating T is equal to 1 over alpha. So, katulad yung ating example kanina. So, you have 1 over 0 0.004. So, our T now is equal to, so let's use our calculator. So, you have 1, 1 divided by 0 0.004. Okay, so that will be 250, no? So, our T is 250 degrees Celsius. So, substituting the value of T, so we have 140 over 120 is equal to 250 plus T2 over 250 plus 15. No? So, ito is simplify natin to, no? yung 140 over 120. So, 140 divide 120 so meron tayong 1.17 no so 1.17 tapos dito lipatin sa kabila so we have 250 plus 15 so that is 265 is equal to 250 plus dito tapos ito ilipat natin dito so we will have So, 
So we will have 117 times 265 minus 250 is equal to dito. So dito, masasolve na natin ang ating dito. Okay? So using our calculator, so 117, no? 1.17, so answer natin yan kanina, times 265 minus 250. Meron tayong 59.17. So, our tito is equal to 59.17 degrees Celsius or 59.2 degrees Celsius. And that will be our answer. No? Next. A resistance of 120 meters of wire is 12 ohms. What is its conductance? Okay, solution. So we know that conductance is the reciprocal of our resistance. So the given setting resistance is 12 ohms. So our conductance just equal to 1 over 12 or equal to, no, using our calculator, so 1 divided by 12. This is equal to 0 0.083. So, our conductance is 0 0.083 Siemens, which is, pwede rin yung old na ano, unit ng Siemens, which is, anong uh, conductance, which is mo. Itong 120, hindi mo yan magagamit in solving this problem. Ang tawag dyan is, uh, nuisance, no? nuisance given. Okay. A mile of wire has a conductance of 0 0.16 shavens. Then, 3 miles of same wire has a conductance of black. Okay. Solution. So, you will be trick. No? Maaaring ang gamitin nyo is i-plus yung 0 0.6, 1.8. But remember, ang pwede nyo lang uh, i-plus is the resistance. Kasi ito 3 miles, so ibig sabihin ito naka-series. So, kapag series, Ang pwede nyo lang i-plus dyan is resistance, not conductance. So, gagawin natin yung given natin na conductance, no? which is yung G sa 1 mile is 0 0.6. We will create, we will make that 1 as a resistance. No? So, that is 1 over G1 or we have 1 over 0 0.6 Siemens. So, that will be equal to so 1 divided by 0.6 okay so 1.67 okay so we have 1.67 ohms so kung yung 1 mile is 1.67 ohms so yung 3 miles so tatlo yan na ganito so 3 times your r1 or 3 times 1.67 ohms no so that will be equal to so you see our calculator 3, kasi ito answer lang, so times answer, that will be 5, no? So, your R3, your R3 is equal to 5. So, R, so that will be equal to 5 ohms, no? Tapos, yung conductance nyo dyan, 1 over R3, so that is 1 over 5, or equal to... equal to 1 divided 5 so 0 0.2 okay. so that is equal to 0 0.2 Siemens which is letter C okay next a circuit breaker is rated for 15 amperes at 117 volts this represents approximately how, how many kilo, kilowatts okay solution Okay, so your power is equal to current time, uh, voltage times the current. So, if you are going to use the power triangle, so P, E, I, so power is equals to E times I. No? So, ang ating E is 117 volts, then our I is 15 amperes. So, our power now 
is equal to 117 times 15. So this is equal to 1,755. Now we have 1,755 watts. Tapos, gawin natin itong kilowatts, so divide 1,000. So we have 1.755 kilowatts or 1.76 kilowatts. So the answer is letter A. Next, the voltage is 250 volts. And the current is 8 milliamperes. The power dissipated in the potentiometer is blank. Okay, so power lang. No? Kadoon pa rin yung formula. No? So yung voltage natin is 250 volts. Our current is 8 milliamperes. So yung milli, that is 8 times 10 to the power of negative 3 amperes. So power is equal to E times I. So, we have 250 volts times 8 times 10 to the power of negative 3 amperes. So, our power is equal to 250 times 8 to the power, times 10 to the power of negative 3. So, that will be 2. So, ang sagot natin is 2 watts. So the answer is letter C. Okay? Next, suppose that a circuit has 472 ohms of resistance and the current is 875 milliamperes. Then the source voltage is blank. So basic, basic ohms to lang to, no? Okay? So our resistance is 472 ohms. Our current is 875 milliamperes or equal to 875 times 10 to the power of negative 3 amperes. So we are going to find for the voltage. No? Okay. So ito yung ating ito yung ating almost a triangle. So voltage, current, resistance. So solving for voltage. So voltage is equal to I times R. So we have 875 times 10 to the power of negative 3 amperes times 472 ohms. So our current is equal to okay, 875 raised to the power of negative 3 times 472. So 413. So the voltage is 413 volts. So the answer is letter A. Next. Given a DC voltage source delivering 24 volts and a circuit resistance of 3 kilo ohms, what is the current? So current na naman, hinahanap natin. No? Kanina, voltage. Okay, so voltage is equal to 24 volts sa given. Tapos yung resistance is... 3 kilo ohm. So, kilo that is 3,000. Yung kilo kasi is 1,000. Kaya 3,000 ohms. Tapos, yung current natin is unknown. Using ohms low triangle. So, E I R. So, our I is equal to E over R. So, meron tayong 24 volts over 3,000 ohms. So, our I is equal to using our calculator so 24 24 divide 3000 so that is 8 times 10 to the power of negative 3 so yun tayong 8 times 10 to the power of negative 3 amperes itong 8, 10 to the power of negative 3 that is milli so yun tayong 8 milli amperes which is letter D and 25 a number 12 wire has a diameter of 8.81 mils. The CMA, so CMA this is the circular mill area, would be blank. Okay, so solution. So our D diameter is equal to 80.81 mils. 
So, ang ating CM dyan, so for the formula, is CM is equal to B squared. So, ito, square lang natin to. So, 8.81 means no, squared. So, our CM is equal to, calculator natin, so we have 80.81 squared. So, that is 6530.25. Six thousand five hundred thirty point twenty six twenty six twenty six at twenty six point twenty six C A so ito na yung ating answer which is letter A yung pinakamalapit okay so I guess yan lahat yung ating session one no I hope may natutunan kayo sa ating session so, sorry kung mayroong konting uh, ambient na uh, ingay. No? I hope na klaro pa rin yung aking boses at may naitindihan kayo. So, I hope you will also uh, tune in no, sa ating next na session, session 2 which is all about DC circuit. No? Series and parallel circuit including the the uh, Kirchhoff's law, the Thevenin law, and the superposition theorem. Okay? So, see you sa next nga Sa next na video, and as always, good luck sa exam. Sana, sana, sana kayong lahat ay, sana kayong lahat ay pumasa sa exam. And as always, enjoy learning.